intelligence failure. Big picture, I think, and I think even, uh, I mean, everyone, everywhere, including within Israel, there is talk of instituting a commission of inquiry on this entire episode after this whole thing is ended. I see there are three failures, or maybe four, big picture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One is intelligence failure to get any idea of what the Hamas were thinking. Mm -hmm. The reasons for that and the subterfuges applied by the Hamas, we'll come to that. Last two years, Hamas, you know, after 21, did not execute any operations against Israel. They they led an impression that they are, you know, sick and tired of war. They want to have economic development, jobs or Gazans, etc. Whatever thing, that's one. The second is they had no, uh, no electronic communications. Very few of the Gaza people itself and the Gaza commanders, or sorry, Hamas who were doing or planning, totally no electronic. So the layers and layers of Israeli intelligence failure will come to that. That's level one. The second is failure of Israel's border security. That fence or wall between Gaza and Israel totally failed. And part of the reason it failed was probably over-reliance, too much reliance on technology. They had sensors. They had sensors which were hooked to machine guns. So if the sensor could send something, the machine gun would fire automatically. They had something, something, something. It was totally blown out. Part of the reason, by the way, in that, in this mm -hmm. attack was, uh, other than uh, you know destroying the watchtowers through the drones, top-down attacks, these guys, they dug up again tunnels till the last meter of the wall on the Gaza mm -hmm. side. So above the ground, Israeli sensors or whatever they may have you know, could not figure out anything. On the day of the attack, these guys popped up on the Gaza side, just one meter away from the wall, popped up, planted explosives. The explosive blasted a one square meter or half a meter of the wall. And then they had the bulldozers and tractors waiting, a line. So they pop up below the tunnel, you know, last minute or maybe one, two, few hours before this, implant the explosives. And when the whatever explosive explodes, it does not create maybe big a big hole, maybe a one, one square foot, two, because the walls are solid, apparently, concrete and all. So you think nobody can get in, fine. But you create that one, two square foot, this thing. And then on the back, you have a freaking bulldozer. You come in, dar, dar, dar. And then through that, you have people wearing sandals and chappals or motorcycles and jeeps flowing through. So the second big failure is the border security. Entire systems, whatever technology, planning, management. The third failure then is actually the Israeli army response time. Right. There are reports wherever they ended up going. In fact, OK. I mean, they had uh, apparently maps and data of the army bases in South. They ended, but in many of the kibbutzes where apparently the attacks were happening or regions, the Israeli army took like 10 to 12 hours to reach there and figure out. So there are these three big failures. I would say, you know, intelligence. It's not only intelligence failure, Madam, by the way. It's intelligence yeah. failure. It's border security failure, and it is response time failure of the IDF to those first 12 hours. So these are clear-cut failures on the military intelligence, etc. front of Israel, I would say. The cost that Israel will pay for this whole thing, what is happening, other than the you know, loss of lives within Israel, and the whole crisis tragedy, Israel will pay some cost and you're a defense analyst. I would think Israel will definitely pay a cost in terms of its defense sales globally. Israel's image has taken a hit. One. Secondly, the image of Israel so far was that whenever, whenever any Israeli company would come for a tender and all, it would be assumed, okay, 
that they are one of the good contenders and you look at it so they would have that yeah technology savvy this that boom done iron dome done bye now the iron dome itself is under question its efficacy and its performance so one big damage consequence of this very whatever it is israel will be its uh, impact on you know defense sales of israeli exports you know just last month israel signed its i think largest ever export defense deal with germany i think of the aero system about 4 billion dollars that's i think israel's largest ever defense export deal the aero system mm -hmm. to germany okay air defense system Now, so countries are were so what this will mean is that there will be more or there will be a more rigorous analysis of israeli claims of his defense technology capabilities so that so that will be more rigorous and then secondly it takes away your whole you know aura right now if, if there's a, any you know in india okay let's say the border security systems i think they've sold us an x number of x dollars of uh, border security sensors and systems india must have put out a tender some american company or german or australian israeli would have you know furnished their offers the bias in the minds that bias in the minds of the tender evaluations see okay what well, would have been that oh yeah israel you know they are the best as in israel etc right fine sure okay, techno commercial aside and all fine done good that bias in the minds of buyers globally with respect to israeli systems will now be taken with a not pinch of salt there will be more rigor there will be more rigor because there has been failure on uh i mean intelligence is one thing they are selling you know intelligence systems also keep aside but border security systems i think those those would be one of the first and secondly the air defense systems the iron dome okay everybody understands systems have a limitation and etc so but you will look at all systems more uh you know with a more uh, little bit more of a uh, you know deeper rigor than otherwise if you were to let kya yeah, israel hai to ha done hai that would be the on the defense side business side the consequence for israel there will be many other consequences for israel this war will not end i mean there will be many other consequences we are just looking at defense right now if that's your area and defense